Hi there, welcome to No Nonsense Whiskey. My name is Vin PF, and on today's episode, we're going to be checking out another Firkin. Now, I should say at the top of the show, now uh, all of the other previous ones, apart from the sample set I was sent at the start, I've bought because I'm a, you know I'm a massive fan of the Firkin company. This one, however, did come to me via the company, but I went down to the Somerton Club Festival in May in St Albans, and the Firkin were there, and I met Nick for the first time. We had a good chat. And at the end of the festival, he dropped me two of the bottles that he was had on show that had a little bit left in. Now this one here came with sort of roughly sort of this much left in, so it had been enjoyed by the guys of the day. And he just gave them to me to say thanks for everything that I've covered so far. Um, no no uh, kind of pre-obligations about covering it, but of course, you know, if a bottle comes my way, I'm going to cover it. So, you know, take it with a pinch of salt. But yeah, um, I should be clear about this up front. I didn't pay for this bottle, but, you know, you guys know that I'm a massive fan of Firkin, so you can be pretty sure about what's coming up. In any case, let's have a look at what we've got on the table today. This is the Firkin 10. Now, uh, this is actually the old Firkin 10. So this is the first one that they came out with. I'll show you the old bottle here. Uh, there you go, Firkin 10. And this one is the Linkwood 2010. So the Firkin 10 is like 10 year old. And this one has been sort of finished, if you like, in Madeira casks. Now, uh, I'm assuming you've seen some of my videos before about Firkin, but if you haven't, I'll give you a quick overview about what they're about. Um, and I implore you to go and check out my most recent uh, Dram Slam episode. It's season one, episode seven, where I talked to Mike Collins, the guy that created this. Very interesting conversation if you want to hear more about how they go about creating this and whatnot. But essentially what they do is they pick excellent casks from, um, like, so far it's only scotch, but I don't know if they've got any plans to go any further than that. They take a single cask. Uh, they, it, that'll be aged in whatever it was aged in, so usually I guess it'd be ex-bourbon, you know, most of these things are. And at some point during that maturation, it gets transferred over to be finished in a custom-built cask, and that's going to have um, staves from a, uh, a first fill bourbon barrel or, or whatever, so it's had bourbon in it, so, you know, ex-bourbon, and some ex-French oak as well. Uh, and they get sort of combined in, in whichever way, I guess one on one on, whatever, whatever fits. And then that liquid is poured in there, um, but not before that it's been seasoned with whatever fortified wine has been chosen. In this in this case, it's Madeira. So they take some kind of careful consideration about matching it with whatever fortified wine they think will work in that situation. Now we've seen all sorts, I've covered quite a lot of Firkins at the moment. We've seen all sorts of different fortified wines going on. This one here is Madeira and Linkwood. And as I always say with these Firkin videos, uh, if you're interested in Firkin, I really do implore you are. I know I know that they sent me this bottle, but go and check out some of the videos that I bought myself if you want to get like a, a more kind of on the point uh, uh, kind of observation. But the one thing I always say about this, you know, if you're interested in looking at these guys, then have a look at the distillery and have a look at the kind of wine finish. And then you can see if it's something that you'd be interested in. You know, like uh, for instance, if you like smoky stuff, then the Lecheg or uh, Kalila and the whatever finish they're going for then. If you like both of those things, like in this case, Linkwood and Madeira, then it's a winner. Uh, and then you can sort of buy with impunity, basically. You know, £69 these tend to go for, and they're all 48.9%. And they've got, you know, all over. So yeah, go and check them out. There'll be a link in the description below, which is a non-affiliated link to Top Whiskey, who are selling it in the UK. But I do know that they're being sold in the US, Japan, Germany, maybe a bit wider, maybe Australia as well. Uh, so yeah, let's get into the tasting. Let's see what we've actually got in the glass. Natural colour, non-chill filtered, all the things that we love. Let's get onto the nose then and see what we've got. Whoa. Now, Linkwood's not something I know too much about, I have to admit. Um, you know, they're not that, you know, they don't really have like a kind of core bottling themselves. You know, I think there's a flora and fauna that uh, Diageo put out, but it, um, it doesn't tend to find its way into like a core range. You don't really get much Linkwood that's not independently bottled on the shelves. But this is like, super rich and oaky given it's 10 years is quite astounding it's kind of really light on the dried fruit so you know i mean obviously we're talking about fortified wine not necessarily sherry it's you know madeira is kind of sherry like i guess but it's portuguese fortified wine so we're getting a little bit of those light dried fruits and for me it's a kind of a really deep running like manuka honey you know like it's not like a really bright and sprightly honey it's like a deep dark honey lovely Let's try on the palette. Mm. Oh, really thick and viscous. Huge bags of those kind of like that again, that manuka honey. If you've if you've tried the difference between manuka honey and non-manuka honey, you'll know what I mean. But it's um there is a distinct difference. 
it's kind of erring on that like brown sugary vibes versus the kind of refined white sugar vibes at the back end i get kind of a little bit of a hint of cinnamon i'm not a big fan of cinnamon but in this case it seems to kind of mold in and it's only just a really light tingle so for me that's all right and in terms of finish it's like medium long it's not like huge but it's medium long and it's really warming and a bit more of that uh, cinnamon spice coming through have another little sip mm. because this thing is really moorish and um I'm kind of glad that it was given to me in such a kind of like a low, if I dare say low, like a low level, because it, this will be the first one that I kill. You can see I've got a couple up on the shelf behind me. If you've got eagle eyes, a couple down there, a couple up there. Uh, and I kind of keep them for not special occasions, but I know that once they're gone, they're gone. So I tend to like leave them up there and only really drink them when I'm in the mood for such a, a good thing. But since this one's so low, that's going to get killed pretty quickly. And this will be the first one that I kill. Um, but yeah, as you can see, Again, another win from the uh, the Firkin Whiskey Company. When I first covered this, way back when, January 2021, I did the sample set that they sent me. And um, the only thing I can remember thinking about this one was that it's um, like the Altmore, the, the Firkin Rare Altmore was the one that really flicked my brain and was like, this company needs to be looked at. Obviously, that's sold out now. Um, and I didn't really have much of a memory of this one when I came back to it. Um, obviously I could refer to my video, but when I started drinking this one again, I was like, actually, this one's really good. And it must have just been slightly beaten by the other one for me to want to go for that one over this one, because I would buy a, a bottle of this in a heartbeat. Uh, I, unfortunately, I should have said probably earlier on that this one is sold out now. Uh, you might be able to get it if you're further abroad. In the UK, anyway, it's sold out. And it's been replaced by a, uh, I want to say a Ben Rinnis Ben Rennes Firkin 10, um, can't guarantee that one, but again, I'll reiterate one more time, if you like the sound of the uh, the distillery that it came from and the, the cask finish that it's going into, I don't think you're going to be disappointed in the bottle that you buy. Um, yes, it's not cheap at £69, but good whiskey is getting more and more expensive, um, and for me, these guys are an absolute winner. Um, final thoughts, you know, yes, all right, fine, I got given this bottle, but I'm enjoying it, and it's going to be an excellent whiskey going forward and uh, you know I'll happily kill the bottle it'll be a shame to see it go uh, I kind of wish I could get another bottle of it now um, and I would buy it but um, it's gone so yeah let me know what you're thinking about Firkin below I know a few of you are buying them based on the video so great to hear if you are uh, I'm a massive fan of Firkin hopefully you will be too cheers <laughs>